Hi, my name's Nikki. I'm from Saddle Central and today I'm going to show you how to measure your horse and which pictures to take so that we can help you select suitable saddles for your horse. Um, to start we need a few tools. Um, we need a piece of paper, A4 or A3 size, flexible drawing curve or a piece of fencing wire um, about 45 centimetres long is ideal. Tape measure, pen, ruler, chalk or tape will do the same job. To start we're going to measure the gullet measurement of your horse. Um, this is the measurement underneath the front of the saddle. This measurement needs to, to match the gullet in your saddle and we're going to be measuring directly three fingers behind the back of the shoulder. So our first job is to actually locate the shoulder. Chalk ready. I'm going to feel where the shoulder is. Running my hands across the top of the shoulder, I can feel, it's quite, quite difficult to feel the edge because there's a lot of fat and muscle that sits over this. So we see where it drops off, we feel it's hard and then it drops down. This is the back point of the shoulder and you'll find that's probably in line with the end of the hair. If you're up here and you've still got lots of mane, you've probably found the wrong point. So, just there. There's our shoulder mark. Now to do our gullet measurement, we're going to measure three fingers directly behind that. Going right up against that shoulder. We're going to measure at this point up and over the back using your flexible drawing curve or your piece of wire. To start, I'm going to find the center point of the measuring tool, making sure the horse is standing perfectly square. This is probably the trickiest part. Open it out to where I think it might be. Dropping the centre down over the back on top of my white mark. Now I'm going to press that on both sides. If your horse is taller and you can't actually see the other side, you'll need to have a, a helper on the other side to flatten it, make sure it's not sticking up. Now we're going to lift that up, putting my finger on the near side so I remember which side it is. We're going to transfer this now onto paper. Still got my finger on the near side. Placing towards the bottom of the page. This is the centre. We're going to mark along the inside. And mark near side, off side. And our centre point. Now, whilst I've got this here, I'm going to just measure down 10 centimetres. You can do this bit later. <laughs> The 10 centimetres. This is just so that when the template comes through to us we can just check that the, the scale of the drawing is exactly the same as you've done it. And now I'm going to just check the measurement on that and that's 30.1 centimetres. So now we're going to measure the wither profile. This just tells us the height of the wither and how much wither there is under the front of the saddle. Take your measuring tool, place it on the highest point of the wither and make sure the head's up. She mustn't drop her head. Profile changes when the head lowers. Make sure your tool is pointing forwards. Don't start with up here. We've got to transfer this to paper. We need to be sure We've got that pointing forwards to get an accurate drawing onto paper. Mold that along the spine. Now I'm just going to measure the point at which this touches that line, three fingers behind, just so that I can mark that onto the paper. We can see where the front of the saddle is in relation to the wither. I'm going to very carefully pick that up. Okay, so now we're going to transfer to the paper, making sure that that's pointing straight out 
can see how it changes if we angle up it makes the height of the weather look so much higher so making sure that that's straight hold it in place draw along the inside like so marking the white mark and there we can see at the point under the front of the saddle the height in front and the height under the saddle okay, now we're going to measure the horse's back length uh, this is a measurement from the shoulder to the last rib and this is important for ponies or short back horses um, to make sure that the panel length of the saddle doesn't go past the last rib so the easiest way to measure this is to find the hairline that forms a V on the side of the horse so we're not talking about this hairline back here we're talking about this line here you can see that the hair comes down like this and like this Find the center point and run a straight line straight up to the spine. Okay, now with your horse chalked up with the shoulder and the R18 point marked, we're going to measure the distance between the shoulder and R18. Um, you might find if you've had a measurement from your fitter, it goes from at this point so just check with them where they've measured we like to have the measurement from the shoulder usually five centimeters difference but we just need to know what the measurement is you give us so i'm going to measure straight across that is measuring 39. so the 39 centimeter back measurement we're just going to write it on our sheet so we don't forget that's our saddle platform shoulder to r18 Okay, now we're just going to do a measurement of the back, the, the horse's back profile at the point that we've chalked up as R18. This just shows us the shape of the back under the rear of the saddle. So just like we did with the front gullet measurement, we're going to put our flexible drawing curve over the back on this line. Mold that to the horse's back, straight down that line. Now I'm going to lift it off, which is my near side. Stop. That's not level, is it? That's the middle. Transfer to paper. This is at R18. Okay, to finish, we need a couple of pictures, rear and side shots of your horse. Um, so this rear view, we need to look down the back. We need to be able to see the back into the shoulder, so we don't want to see their rump. So to get this rear view shot, the camera is being held well above the person's head. We need that position of the camera to be really high looking along the back. Um, down too low and we just won't get the right angle and the right view. Okay, then we need a side view picture of the horse. I'm going to just turn her around. We need the horse to be standing perfectly square. Oh, there we go, quick. Quick before she moves. Head nice and level, legs square. Full view, including the head and including the legs. Straight on, level with the center of the horse, not too far to the back or to the front. So that's the end of the video for today. I hope that helps you understand what's required with doing the pictures and templates in order for us to help select a suitable saddle for you. Thank you.